It's been funny watching people trying to review Death Stranding. It's been funny watching people trying to review it because I don't think Death Stranding is a game that you can review in a normal way. I think it's always difficult to say this that something is more than a game but I think that Death Stranding is more than a game in a way I think Kojima in making Death Stranding is reaching for something <clears throat> he's reaching for the same things that people that write novels and people that make films are reaching for they're reaching for something that is beyond uh, the work itself people who record great albums so it's interesting seeing video game reviewers reviewing it as a video game because a lot of the time Death Stranding doesn't feel like it's a lot of fun. But my god, it is special. And currently I'm trapped in a kind of limbo. Uh, we're waiting for these babies to arrive, these twins to arrive. And it's near Bracken. And we need, need to kind of stay at home and be ready, have the bags packed in the car and get ready to, get ready to pounce at the first sign of labour. And, and so, you know, we're in limbo and you're just, you're worried about, you're worried about the babies, obviously. You're at that point where you're just like, right, we have got to full term pretty much safely. We just need to get them out safely now. And so you're worried, you know. Um, I'm a guy that worries anyway, so you worry <clears throat> and I think because I'm worried I like a bit of routine and because I like a bit of routine and because I feel emotional I feel quite emotionally vulnerable at the minute and a bit nervous and all of that um, that's why I've been playing chapter 3 of Death Stranding for tens of hours, maybe 20 odd hours, seriously. So I don't have a finished Death Stranding to review for you. I'm still in chapter three and I've been there for a long, long time. Loving it, transporting packages to and from people and Carrying this baby, carrying a baby about with me. Shenmue 3 sitting there and I haven't even touched it yet. And the reason why is because the picture isn't complete yet. Look, I don't want you to think that I'm I'm depressed or I'm, I am really, really happy. Honestly, I feel really, really happy just now and I'm in a great place and I feel incredibly lucky. But still, I'm a, a, there's a wee moment of hesitancy just now. There's a wee moment of hesitation because the picture isn't complete. The two babies haven't arrived yet. They're not safely here in our arms yet, and so uh, it's no time yet to play Shenmue 3. It's no time to experience that yet. Currently, I'm happy just existing inside Death Stranding. And I've found it a very, very beneficial experience. It's really helped me. It's helped me through this process. Um, because I think it's a beautiful game and a meaningful game. And, and I feel incredibly lucky. I, f I feel like an incredibly lucky guy. Because games, they help me, art helps me get through stuff. Films, music, games help me get through stuff. They help to distract me, they help to liberate me from my thoughts. Because your thoughts will, will they'll get you, they'll punish you. Um... And a lot of worries, you know, you worry about your pals as well. I worry about my pals who have things going on in their lives and I worry about these wee twins coming and I worry about... Sometimes I think to myself, everything's so good, something's going to go wrong. I mean, look, we've got this personal timeline I'm living in. I know the timeline. I know it's brutal out there, politically and... I know it looks like we're living in the darkest timeline, but me, myself, this year, I've had a good year. 
uh, I've been very lucky and I'm very lucky to to be in love and be loved and have good friends and have great family and beautiful children and uh, and and yet here we are just a wee moment of hesitancy and inside that moment of hesitancy what do we do we make connections and deliver parcels for very little reward the only real reward is that you you did it you held steady and you didn't fall down here is your review of the first three chapters of Death Stranding Death Stranding is the kind of game where you know you're going to love it within five ten minutes it's a game that's made by somebody who loves music somebody who loves film somebody who loves video games and somebody who really really loves people I think really Hideo Kojima's games have always been about his love for people he he tells a lot of stories about AI, he tells a lot of stories about machines, but it's people that Hideo Kojima loves. The thing that I love best about the backstory of Death Stranding is that when people die in this world, they explode like a nuclear bomb, they go off like a fucking nuke. And it's nice that somebody out there has made a game about the real total devastation that death causes. So many video games are about causing death, affecting death upon the world. And Death Stranding is a game about the absolute devastation that death actually causes. It's a game about the craters that are left in people's lives when people die. It feels as if my life has been coloured by death quite a lot over the past five, six years with the deaths, deaths of my parents and um, and we losing the baby last year and and you really realise that your life is pitted with these craters, you know, as you age you you look back upon your life and you can see this blasted, wasted surface and you really spend your time having to try and walk around these craters, you know, just having to move over the terrain and Death Stranding really is a game about moving over the terrain. Now, I am telling you all of this, this is all stuff that I have gathered and read from a story that is only three chapters told. The game could go bananas after these three chapters and be not at all about what I'm talking about right now, but Here's what I think it's about right now, and this is the beautiful thing about art, is that you walk into an art gallery and you look at a painting, and you can stand there and you can look at that painting for 10 minutes, and it will mean something to you within that 10 minutes, but if you stay there for an hour, it will mean something else. That's what art is. And Death Stranded for me right now, as I have existed within the early part of this game, these first three chapters, as I've found a comfortable nest for myself within this game, transporting this baby around strapped to me. And listen, I've no missed the meaning in that for me personally, as I'm waiting for these twin babies to arrive and, and carrying these wee babies, you know, in my heart and hoping that they'll be all right. And in this game, walking around soothing this wee baby as I'm running for ghosts and walking around the craters that that death can cause has had a really, really heavily affect um, has really heavily affected me uh, and like I said 
uh, this is all very stream of consciousness here. The meaning could change, but I think Kojima has made a game here that's about human connection and a human connection and an existence that is blighted by the scars of death. I'm almost frightened to play more of this game because I, you know, I don't want anything bad to happen to this guy, and I don't want anything bad to happen to that baby. And I'm really loving it. If you want me to talk about the fundamentals, man, I'm really loving balancing all these parcels. <laughs> I'm loving trying to... And you know, and even that makes me think, I think about Jerry, my pal, who is so busy and has to juggle so much stuff and has to carry so much stuff every day. You know, and I think about Ryan, my pal, you know, who is quite isolated 